Well, I met Akon. Um, I used to stay in a um, in a in an apartment called New Haven Station, um, in Atlanta, Georgia. And Akon and them stayed in the front of the complex, and I stayed all the way in the back. And at this time, my dad was managing me, and I was signed to RCA Records. And um, his little brother Boo, he didn't really like me. I don't think you know what I mean, because I was dating a girl he wanted. You know what I mean? One day, Boo, she was cheating on me, right, with somebody around the corner. So. Boo wanted to be the one to tell me. <laughs> we always joke about this day. So he's like, he knocks on my door. He's like, yo, got the, your girlfriend? She's over at dude's house. So I storm out the house. I got the whole block behind me. I storm out the house. I go knock on the dude door and I punch him in the face, <laughs> right? So like, oh, wow. So at this point, Boo like, yo, dude with it. Like he with it. Like he was like, yo, and I told him I do music. And he was like, yeah, like I got a brother that do music too. So I'm like, let me meet your brother. So he took me to meet Akon and when I heard him, he was just dope. He had this voice that was just crazy to me. And he was just like this African dude. And at this time, it wasn't no Africans like really representing in the hip hop culture. So I was like, I seen something in him at that young age. And I was like, yo, when I met him, I said, let me introduce you to my dad and see what we could do. Cause my dad had to pull at that time. So introduced him to my dad. And from there was a rap. We took him, um, we took him to Sylvia Rome at Electra Records. We got him a million dollars. This is like 1993, 94. I get kind of a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? 500,000 publishing, 500,000 signing bonus, you know? And um, from that from that end, we start working on this album and then he get locked up again, you know? Um, he got locked up before the album came out. So blew through the money, gets locked up for the album come out. I'm still pushing mine. At this time, I'm just going solo. And finally, so when Anywhere came out, Akon was like, just getting out of jail. So when he got out of jail, I'm just like, yo, we back in effect, you know? So I've been working with Akon, like I said, since 93. My first album is called Young World the Future. Young World the Future, if you don't have it, go get it. The first thing off the album was called Calling Me. Um, a lot of people don't know that Calling Me, it was put, Calling Me was originally produced by Akon. Um, and he was originally singing the chorus to This Life I Live With My, that was Akon singing that. And um, my manager at the time, he was trying to build his label up and he had some, some producers signing him named Mr. Fist and Diggy Dom. So one day I just was in the studio sleep and they came in and they had switched the whole beat. They took Akon off the chorus and they put 112 on the chorus. And I ain't gonna lie, at first I didn't like it because I'm, I'm so for my people. I'm like, nah, y'all took Akon off. So, then I'm sleeping in the studio one day and it comes on loud, kind of like startles me when it comes on because I'm I used to fall asleep in the studio all the time because we'd be in there so long. And when it came on, it was like don't 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 and it woke me up. And for some reason, now I remember a month for a whole month I had been telling them, whole two weeks, about two weeks, I've been telling them, I didn't like it, I didn't like it. Put Akon back on it, put but then when it woke me up, I can't lie, it sounded so good. And I turned to the label and I'm like, look, I was tripping. Like, we gonna keep, we gonna keep 112 on there. We gonna keep the, keep the beat. Don't even listen to me no more. You know what I mean? So, but people don't really know. Akon was originally the producer and on the hook for calling me. And we end up taking him off and replacing it with 112. Praising him with 112 because we just wanted to keep that vibe going. It's just like his family, my family, like, like this, you know? Not like this, like it used to be, because, you know, life changes. But as far as when it first started, um, if you get the first, if you get the beginning, if you get the first Akon album, you look in the cover, it says to Lil Zane and Big Zane for giving me my start. You know what I mean? And that was enough for me. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't really need nothing else. You know what I mean? I think he, you look at him now. You know, I'm just happy to be a part of that. I felt like I gave the world something that they would have been missing if if they wouldn't have, if I wouldn't have been born. They would have might not met Akon, but um, you know, I just like to see things grow and I'm. Um, I'm happy with where he's at right now. I'm happy with, we came from nothing. You know, me and Akon came from nothing. And, and I'm proud of what we what we became and what we took. We took nothing and turned it to something, you know? And if you want it, we could do it in the black 500 with the top down and overdrive when we ride because I'm hot now. You got me going, I don't think I want to stop now. Z feeling like a criminal on lockdown. So let's get away to get away. You getting hot, baby, please don't melt away. I got a crib on a beach, Paul, metal away. And here's your personal keys to see me every day, 112. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs>